Hello Pilots and Ground Crew, welcome back to my channel again. I uh, picked up a new uh, frame lately, it's a uh, Foster uh, 3 inch 36 gram uh, little micro quad frame and I just thought I'd show you what you get in the package, put it together and uh, tell you what I think to it and then after I put it together I'll do another jump shot and uh, put all my components in and give it a test flight and uh, let you know. Well then, you don't get a lot as you can see. The main parts is the bottom, the top and the two little uh, brackets for mounting the uh, FPV camera. You get some uh, little uh, metal standoffs right, for your top and some spaces for your, well, for your gear, your flight control board and stuff. And apart from the, the screws, that's it. You don't get a lot. Like I said, it's 36 gram. It's about, uh, I did measure it and I can't bloody remember now. <laughs> I think it was uh, a three and a half mil thick bottom plate and a two mil uh, thick top plate. It's only a cheap little uh, frame. I'll leave a link, well actually I'll just leave a picture there with the prices so you can see. Got it from banggood.com. But it, it's a nice looking frame when it's all put together. It, it looked nice and that's why I wanted it. The quality, right, it's a cheap frame, it's a cheap one, right, but the carbon's quite nice, right. The edges uh, of the carbon aren't too bad, they could do with a little sand down, like you do with uh, all cheaper frames. They could do with a bit of a sand down, but nothing too bad, nothing too sharp that's going to uh, cut wires or out like that. Plus you're going to have a 4 in 1 stack, so it's not as if you're going to have any ESCs and wires running off the corners of the arms are out just along it and to the 4-in-1 ESC but yeah it's a nice little uh, looking frame when it's put together so that being said just do a jump shot because uh, it's going to be easy to put together just the spaces and the front bit so uh, let's do a jump shot and put it together in three two one there you go then pilots and ground crew, these are just some spare standoffs, well not spare, I'll be using them at some point maybe, or we'll go in the tub. But that's the frame all put together, very very simple, nothing complicated about it at all. Just got your four spacers, right on either side, your little standoffs, right for mounting your electrics. There's plenty of room in there, so you'll easily, easily fit your flight control board, 4-in-1 ESC, and I'll be using a TX45 right, VTX, which is the uh, Speedy B, the run cam one, the Speedy B, because uh, that pumps out up to, check your legal requirements of the country you live in, up to 500 uh, milliwatts. But yeah, it, it, it's nice. I mean, it's not super strong or out like that, but for a little three inch frame, very nice, it'll definitely, once everything's in it, definitely be under the 250 gram mark. You could mount your camera, your camera, you could mount your battery on the top or put your battery on the bottom, right? This will be strong enough to hold a little battery, right? Shouldn't cause any problems, right? And obviously, yeah, you've got your little camera mounts at the side, right? For whatever type of camera you're going to use. I'll be using, uh, I've got a little, well I'll either use the Foxy, no I probably won't use the Foxy, uh, the uh, Runcam Micro, but it, it, it feels quite strong, feels quite nice. Like I said, this is a 130 size, I'll just show you the comparison, that's me uh, Skyzone S140, if I just zoom out a little bit. There you go, that's my Skyzone S140, but this is all uh, ripped up and ready to go, obviously. Alright, you've seen a few flights with this. You might notice uh, I had a big, uh, well, say a big, but I had the HD camera mounted on top of this. Well, I've taken it off for winter, right, and uh, I'm just uh, going to be running DVR through it. Because the camera I was using, I was using the uh, Hawkeye Firefly camera, which is a brilliant FPV, ca FPV, which is a brilliant HD camera, right, for like spring summertime. But in winter, when the light, when it's a little darker when you're flying, right, I've noticed the light, it, it can't adjust to the light. So if you fly near a, a tree where it's shadowed, 
right? And then you come out of it, on the image it, it takes forever to go back to light and it really buggers up the video, right? So I'll be running this with uh, DVR, right? but I've got one of them uh, Runcam DVRs so it records with an, an SD card straight in there, right? an SD card straight from the camera into it but it's only like a DVR footage but it's a lot better than the DVR footage you get from your goggles because you don't get any distortion or anything but uh, yeah size wise this is the 140 and this is the 130 and if I turn it that way you can see the difference so it's not one of these things that's advertised as 130 and I measured it as well it definitely is a lot smaller it's a nice uh, smaller one so if you have to sum it a bit smaller Right. It, it's meant to be a true X, it's slightly, slightly off a true X. The back and the front are more stretched than the sides. Right. However, that won't make any difference. I'm not that bothered whether the quads are true X's or not. Height wise, right, for stacking your stuff, right, it's roughly the same when you take into account the arch here and here. It's roughly the same so it is not too bad at all it's not super strong as i said it you know what i mean you crash this into a building right so much gonna break out i guess right but at the same time it it's very light it's pretty damn good right and it, it's a cheap cheap frame all right so anyhow let's get me electrics in and uh show you what it looks like when it's all set up for uh it's uh Made and test flight. Okay then, another jump shot. Well, there you go, then, pilots, all put together again now. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, very happy with it. It was a bloody nightmare putting it together, though. I don't mind telling you, I had nothing but bloody problems. It was such a tight build. Now, I'm going to start off with you are not going to see a test flight, all right? A maiden. Because uh, I screwed up, and if I show you how I screwed up, there, I've done all the software and everything, right? And on the last second, I was putting the props on, right, and snapped the bloody motor, didn't I? Right? Now, that is the one problem. If I turn these on, I hope you can see the bloody light in here is terrible. I need to get some uh, new lights in here. I'm just trying to turn this around so you can actually uh, see it. There you go. It's uh, the motors are the RC in power. Alright, RC in power motors. And they're bloody good motors. These are one of the best motors out there for the little mini quads. They are so powerful. Right, I had these on my Skyzone uh, S140 and got 102 miles per hour plus out of it. Right, and if you watch the Andy RC video and type in uh, Skyzone S140, you'll see him and he's got a speed gun and everything and he's getting in excess of 100 miles an hour. These motors are awesome. But they do have a downside and that's why I've left this loose, uh, if you know, it's just to show you. From the very first turn, when you're putting these screws on, the nuts, alright, to tighten up. The second you start to tighten them, they are hard as hell, they are so tight, alright, they are really tight to tighten up, alright. I can't do that by hand any further now, and there's still loads of thread on that before it gets close to the motor, and I can't turn that by hand anymore. The threads are so tight. And when you're cranking down on your spanner, it's all done by feel, right? And I just, well, went too far on that one and snapped it. So, uh, I have to order a new uh, bell end, right, for the motors, because they are brilliant motors. It's just that they are so, so tight when you're cranking down. Anyway, that's enough about that, so you won't be seeing a test flight. Right, the frame. All put together, as I said, it was bloody a nightmare. It's so tight in there, right? Trying to get everything in, even though the only thing I've got in there is a four in one ESC, 
I've got an F3 flight control board, right, and I've got a TX500 uh, VTX, the uh, run cam, well, Speedy B slash run cam, whichever way you want to look at it. Right, and it was such such a tight little build trying to get your way in there. I mean, I can't get anything else in there. Oh, and I've got the uh, FLI 14 plus receiver, which is a really good receiver, right, for these little micros. And I just managed to get that in there, and I won't get a single other thing inside this quad, right. So basically, that's it. She's all put together. She feels nice. Right? I like the feel of it. Right? I've done it as a bottle mounting battery. Right? But uh, you can put the battery on the top and run the strap the other way. But uh, the reason why I left it like that is because I thought maybe I can co come up with some sort of tiny little uh, HD camera somehow to fit on there. Something like the QX12 or the S. SQ12, not the SQ11, they're crap. Yeah, so anyhow, unfortunately, I can't give her a test flight, so you'll just have to wait, and because it's going to be a couple of weeks, so I thought I'd get the video out because these frames are so cheap at the moment. And now it's all put together, it does feel very, very strong, and I reckon it'll put up put up with a hell of a lot of bangs and bumps, not on concrete, as I said earlier, but uh, yeah. She's all ready to go, so you'll have to watch out in the future. There you go, let's just make her look nice for the end shot. There you go, just for the end shot. So yeah, so watch out in a uh, couple of weeks or so. Like I said, uh, I've ordered a uh, new bell end for the motor. In fact, I just ordered the full motor actually, and I thought then I've got a spare, uh, spare base, spare motor base. But uh, yeah, so there she is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you. I've got the uh, little Foxy Micro camera in there. And I've gone through everything else. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Sorry you didn't get the maiden flight. And uh, check the description for links to uh, the bits and pieces. Including the flight control board, the ESC and the motors which are awesome but extremely extremely tight to fasten down so you must be very very careful and i'll tell you something right now this is not the first one i have snapped off over tightening it thinking am i there or out of there because they're so tight this is the second one i've done and if you watch my videos you'll also know i cross threaded uh, two of these so i swapped them out with a holy bro uh, motors on uh, my SQ, <coughs> sorry, my Skyzone S140, got a sore throat today, suffering for you, but yeah, so uh, there she is, hope you enjoyed the video, sorry about the maiden, but uh, it'll be coming up in a couple of weeks, and uh, I reckon uh, she'll fly like a bat out of hell. Okay, oh, just in case anyone spotted that on there, my little XT30, You'll see there's, uh, I'll just see if I can get that a bit closer for you. You'll see I've got s some uh, black marker pen just on the edge of it, right? Now, that's basically, so when I plug in my me, me battery, I know the black cable goes to there. Even though there's a black cable there, right, so it's common sense. Now, the reason why I do that, and I do it on all my XT30s, <coughs> is... For some strange reason, unlike the XT60, if you try to put them in the wrong way around, you, they just will not fit. Whereas the XT30s, if you try to put them in the wrong way around, you can actually push them in. Yeah, you can actually push them in the wrong way around, right? which you know is going to blow everything. Right? So that's why I just put a little black marker on uh, the top of the XT60 where the black cable goes. It's just an extra little... Uh, guideline shall we say for me just to make sure if your hands are cold or you're rushing or whatever you don't plug it in the wrong way around okay then uh, pilots and ground crew pop the little nut back on right I'll probably use that as a thumbnail <laughs> right then uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video uh, lots of information in the comments any questions just ask 
Uh, lots of information in the description. If there's any questions, please leave a message in the comments. For again, help. Okay then, uh, and cheers.